Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. <laughs> Good day to you. Probably wondering what happened in the last day or so. If you remember yesterday we was live streaming uh, IOTA and then my cable guy come had to switch out my modem because I got I got the highest package on internet. So it's 150 download and 50 upload. That's megabytes. So it's a pretty big package. Uh, we don't do TV. So it's a certain kind of modem he has to install. And it's not just a regular modem where you have the Spectrum TV as well. Cause we, don't, we don't do that. Uh, but of course, when he came in, he noticed that he had the one with the TV. And he has to get the new modem. And I had to wait all the way till today for things to get fixed. And now that they fixed, thanks God, I had to catch up my kids' homework. Because we did everything but uh, social studies yesterday. So we had to start that today as well and catch up things as well. So Anyway, everything's fine now. God bless you all. Hope you all have a great day today. Uh, as far as the tropical update, it looks like good news. Uh, disturbance 1 has gone down from 40% to 30% in the next five days. They show that the, con the conditions are less conducive than previously thought. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. They do not appear to be conducive for development as once thought. So that's a good thing. We need to watch it though still because we are showing it is a less of an anomaly. It's not as dark. We still have an anomaly at the end of the month, which I'm showing actually could be a little stronger than what they're showing. Plus we have a little something around Christmas time, but it don't look as bad as this. I still show we still have something coming pretty big, guys. I just don't show it showing up yet. And if you know the whole area for tropical depression is always going to be down here for a while now. And this is the most warmest part of the deepest ocean. So this is where all our next tropical depressions will be forming from. And they will be going back and forth uh, from this area and just trying to just develop within the next 10 days like crazy. Uh, if you go through the, the ensembles, you can see that as soon as these next few days go, we got a couple of small uh, possibilities that could form up for Nicaragua problems as well. But I'm not showing that as a very strong possibility anymore. The one we got watched for is precisely in the next six days, they have uh, some uh, that's showing that there will, will be a possible low pressure system that still makes its way to the Western Caribbean. Uh, they even show one that pops up even later that'd be closer to Jamaica. But at the same time, if you notice, they both get stopped by a high pressure system over here. So whether it's going to be a, a deep trough, uh, that's blocking it. Either way, we will find out soon enough, but it does get blocked. It looks uh, when it does start showing up around six days from now. It, hopefully it stays blocked if it does form and it don't make it towards anywhere, but go towards uh, Jamaica, Cuba, possibly Bahamas and becomes a fish uh, story. So that would be a great thing if it even forms at all. It is still a few days away, so keep that in mind. But there still is opportunity, so we got to keep our minds open. It's not over yet. Uh, matter of fact, if you look at the GFS parallel, you'll see that some of the, tr the low pressure systems down here, right next to Nicaragua, they try and form up a system over the next few days. And with bad uh, chances, it don't form anything. But once it starts getting th uh, through the end of the week, you can notice it actually does kind of form one up towards Nicaragua. Now, whether it holds true or not, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, that could be a possible hurricane. 988 is a tropical storm, very high intensity, but it's still, this is still so far away, we don't even know if this will even form up. Yet, we are showing some things are still happening in this region of the waters because it's so warm. Now, I didn't have a whole bunch to uh, show y'all today because there's not a whole bunch going on out there as far as the Caribbean. Uh, it's kind of on an in-between period. So hopefully it's on an in-between what we just had and hopefully it goes down to a cooling period where we don't have much coming in the future. That would be even great. I'd love to get back on on the states and everybody else's weather on a day-to-day -day basis. This hurricane season has definitely been one to remember. But I will keep y'all updated. Everything is fine with my modem now. I will do you another one first thing in the morning like we always do. I, and, of course, I always hope you all have a blessed day today. It is a beautiful day outside for most of us. Now, I don't know about the Northeast. I know they had a lot of problems with the power outages. Uh, let me see exactly how your power outages is looking at the moment. Do we still have all them problems in the Northeast? Uh, yeah, pretty bad. Virginia, 13,000. Ohio and Indiana, 16,000. 
uh, plus Michigan, 60 to 70,000. And then Washington's got 15,000. And my brother lives in Washington. He told me they're putting him on lockdown as well over there. So God bless us with all that we're dealing with as well, right? So before you go and run off today, let me bless you a little bit, my brothers and sisters. Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in a secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His trust, His truth, shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the, t the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy, thy habitation. There shall be no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy, do, thy, thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear, bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt, shalt thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day today. It's, I'm in Wisconsin. It's nice weather up here, so we're, we're enjoying it. But most of all, I'm glad to have the internet fixed. I never thought how crazy it is how, how you get when you just don't have internet. <laughs> you get so used to it. But anyway, y'all have a great day. I will update y'all later. Plus, I'm going to start getting back to my, my normal uh, weather forecast like I used to do every day for a long time. So I will be back on those soon, too. Thank you for watching. I love you all. All glory does go to God. Amen.